Hey, what's up guys? Skyward here. Today I am back with another video, this time with an actual computer. Well, I did my last video on that MacBook, which my friend is now currently enjoying, so I'm happy about that. But this video is actually about a bit of a strange one. Um, this here is one of the first uh, Power Mac G4s. This one has the G4 processor in it, um, and this one uh, I actually got from work with one problem apparently, but I'll get into that in a bit. I got it from work for $50, and it's in a pretty good condition. Now the problem with it, back looks pretty nice, the problem with it was the power supply was apparently dead. Now at work, I don't know why, um, the two people there that are, t are basically master technicians are pretty good with this stuff. This voltage regulator switch down here, which my lighting's awful, my bad, this here, if it will focus, was set to 230 volts. Now for people who don't understand that, basically that means that's what has to come out of the wall to, okay, focus, damn it to give this power supply enough power. What the hell? Sorry about the focus. The problem is, this thing was set to 230 volts. And since I live in the US, the uh, voltage that comes out of a typical wall outlet is 115 volts. So that's what I have it set to currently. I don't know if my phone will focus again. Okay, you can't see it, but it's set to 115. It was set to 230 though during their testing. So I set it down to 115, I plug it in, and it seemed to power up. I heard an Apple chime, so it seems to work pretty much fine but anyway so I'll just start kind of showing stuff along the back so up here you have your headphone jack your audio out jack which it's kind of strange that they have it back here I don't know why they couldn't put that up in the front that's whatever you have your ethernet port two firewire 400 ports and two USB 1.1 ports a vent this here is the power supply fan vent and then down here is another vent which actually this one houses a uh, another big fan which isn't by the processor. I think the processor sits about right here by this vent, so the power supply is actually what's cooling that off, which is a strange design, but that's whatever. Down here is your stuff for uh, cards and car adding cards, which the only thing here present is the video card. There's one slot that's missing, though. I don't know what's causing that. So, yeah. Now, another thing that's actually rather cool about this computer, uh, in my opinion, is how they designed it. How are you open the case? All I gotta do is pull this little latch here, and the entire computer opens. So it's a very nice design. As you can see here, here's your processor heatsink, which is a cool sound. You rub your fingers over it. And, oops, sorry, I'm, my shadow's getting a bit in the way, sorry. Uh, this here's the video card, which is an ATI Rage 128 of some sort. I'll see what this is when I actually get to the operating system. Here's your other adding cards, which this, I might actually upgrade the video card, and I don't know. And then this down here is your three RAM slots which currently only has a 256 megabyte card, and, but I can add 512 meg. I just gotta get to that old HP computer over there in my uh, closet to get my other 128 meg stick out of. And here is actually the airport card. This is still here, which is very, very nice. Um, this, of course, is the wireless card, or the airport card is what Apple calls it. So very nice of them, so we'll leave that in there. And this is a 60 gigabyte IBM desk star hard drive, which I believe is working. Now up here we have our ZIP100 drive, DVD RAM drive, which I don't know what that means. Um, that's whatever, I'll figure out kind of what that is later. And then here's the Delta power supply, which was assumed dead, but it does apparently work. And there's the giant fan I was talking about, which injects its heat out there, which is kind of strange, but yeah. Also, one thing I like about how they laid out this computer is not only is the case pretty easy to open, and also the computer doesn't like fall over or anything like that. At the same time, though, the power supply wires are very nicely organized, so they're not like... You know, most of these Dell computers are like all over the place. This one kind of did a nice little tuck back there with the things and it was nice. Also the processor, I don't know if it's single core or a single processor or two processors, but this is a 533 megahertz G4 processor. And this also came out of the factory according to this uh, sticker on the back, which I don't know, can I focus in on? Let's see, can I focus in on that? Let me see. I sure can. So you can pause there to kind of Watch this. Now it came with OS 9 and OS 10 actually. That's pretty nice. But there you go. You can pause on that if you want to read that. I'm not going to read the whole entire thing off. But yeah. So that's the inside. So I have a little spot set up over there by my window. I'm going to go get this computer all set up and I'll be back. Alright. I'm back. I got everything hooked up. And here's the entire little setup of this. Um, I'm sorry. Here's it all hooked up. Here's a bit of a better look at the front. Here's the uh, DVD, uh, DVD RAM drive. And basically it has... It says... It's a DVD RAM, that's what that means. Here's your Zip 100 drive, your speaker, power button, reset button, and all that fancy stuff like that. Also, I like this case design with these uh, handles. Sorry if you got that scratching in the background, that's just my dog. And I also have my iMac G5 uh, Q5 
keyboard, which was sitting up there with that little guy. And um, right now I'm just gonna have to put this up here so it'll track. But yeah, let's give it power on. Now I know it power's on. We're gonna do this. Let's see if it'll power on the monitor. Well, the power supply works. That's a great little start. Does this thing boot? There we go. Oh, was <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess it's not used to the resolution of the screen, but it does work apparently. What the? What in the? That's weird. I've never. I don't. I've never seen a DVD RAM drive. Okay, well, it seems to boot, be booting. I'll be back once it's done booting. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I know usually it's kind of these things with all the computers, but this thing was taking a really long time to boot. And also, the DVD drive does appear to work, but it's very strange how it works. It's like, it comes out halfway, and you stick the disc in, and just like you usually would, but then once you actually hit like a certain point, it'll actually just take it back in. So, that, But that is kind of interesting, though, how that works, but that's whatever. I'll probably just option boot and see if I can get to a... OS 10.4 Tiger installer, which this will run, so I'll be back. I'll also add more RAM into it. All right, I'm back. I have more RAM added in here, which totals 512 meg, so 256, 128, 128. Everything is intact again, and I have it open just to kind of get a better hearing of what the hard drive sounds are. Thing. Okay, maybe the case needs to be closed. Let me do that right quick. Power's off. Okay. Let me now. Let me let me get this shut. Hold on. I'm sorry, that requires two hands. And let's see now. Will it actually power on? Stick size is bad. Hold on, let me test that out. Well, okay, so the Spectrum chip is bad, as you guys can see here. It's all now working. You know, I don't know why that's giving off a red light, but as you can see here, it is working. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, but it's 384 megabytes of RAM on Tiger. Not bad, I guess, but oh well, whatever. So that's bad. I think I have a, a 64 megabyte stick that I can put in here. That should help a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, I'll probably just grab my Tiger disc and get it booted to there, and I will be back. All right, there you go. Our jokingly small 64 megabyte chip is in. Let's see if that has any problems to it. it shouldn't. Yep. There we go. Now, the hard drive's obviously bad. I know that. It does not work, so... this thing... Yeah, option boot, come on. There we go, okay, so I'm going to boot to a, a Tiger Disk and I will be back. All right, well, the one thing that kind of sucks right now is that the power supply fan does not appear to be working, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, it may be part of the problem why the power supply is dead. Maybe the fan is dead. I could probably replace that, I'm not too sure, but, yeah, well, I don't know. I'll look into that later. All right, here we go. I have four CDs here, my, uh, pan my not Panther, Tiger Disk installers and my OS 9 disk installers. Since this thing runs OS 9 and OS 10 apparently, my heat sink ain't running too warm. Anyway, um, I'm going to put uh, my disk in here, which like I said, watch this DVD RAM drive though. That is so cool. I don't know why I'm fascinated at it, but kind of cool though. Don't know if it works, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to get booted to the installer though. There we go. I am back. Let me went ahead and just do that for the installer prep preparation. And there we go. All right. Utilities, okay. Now I just booted up the DVD RAM drive and it appears to work just fine. Okay. Let's see, disk utility. Network utility. I could use that. Just depends. The airport card has a problem. Well, I hope this new internet does not have a passcode because I got a new router recently. I really hope it does not have a password because then uh, I will have 
to, well, these guys can't connect to the internet then because they can't crack that code, even though they can connect to the internet without having problems with the IPv6 gate or the antenna connection. Then I'm just gonna have to leave that alone. Okay, come on. Find the drive, damn it. Format it. See if I can get it working again. Come on. Oh, well, whatever. It is a UD drive, so I can see why it's so slow. So if it does not detect it, then I'm just going to put in a new drive. Oh no, it does. Machista. So it's the Mets Machita. But this is an IBM hard drive though, Mac HD. Okay, erase. It's a Macintosh. Install Mac OS 9. Option does not affect classic. Mac OS extended journal. And erase. Alright, there we go. Erase. Okay. So I guess I'll do that when it's like to a uh, actual like finished installer like asking me about questions and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay. This is extremely ironic, but what I did is I used two computer power supplies, this little desk fan here, and I'm blowing back in through the vent back there, which is putting out some kind of decently hot air through here. And basically that air is just going to kind of dissipate through here. So yes, I'm stacking computer power supplies to basically cool a power supply. That is retarded, like severely, but you know what, it works. And right now it's installing, I don't have to worry too much about the power supply overheating. So I guess that's kind of nice, but you know, past that though, everything seems to be working fine. Also one thing it will be kind of cool to know if is, is if this uh, system CMOS battery still works, because if it doesn't then whatever, I guess I'll just find a replacement, so yeah. Alright, well one more little thing before I actually uh, get to this point of the installer, which it is working just fine if you are wondering, is now what I did is I actually just went to close the case and then I thought, wait, duh, that fan, that really big fan down at the bottom, kind of around here, location on the computer, that blows in. So the power supply is the only thing really moving heat out of the computer technically. So what I figure is I'm going to crack the case just slightly so heat will move out of here kind of, but this doesn't stay open like too well on its own at this angle. So I shove this in here since you know it's plastic smooth here and appears to be working just fine and then there's that but like I said the power supply fan is broken and I have another one down here I think this deer power supply uh, I don't know what the rating of the wattage is on here but I'll probably just take the fan out of this one and stick it in there if I can then I'm gonna know if I can I don't know that or I'll have to replace all the wires which will not be fun because the wires for uh, this power supply are very nice and neatly tucked around the back so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I'll figure out though, because I don't need the power supply running without a fan, because I think that's probably important. So yeah, but I'll be back, like I said, once again, when the uh, installer is finished. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, disk 1 installed just fine, it booted off the hard drive just fine. Because at first it wasn't really booting too well, so I thought the uh, hard drive was probably bad. But then again though, once again, uh, let me make sure, is this lined up properly? I think it is. Okay, yeah it is. Alright, so now I just gotta do uh, OS 10 install disk 2. Also, I did notice the computer internally was running just kind of warm because my fan is blowing inside the power supply. So I don't know if that's going to be a problem. I'm probably just going to take the uh, fan from this top power supply here on the stack and just put it in the internal one. See if that might work. Just kind of do a fan swap, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, it's going to hopefully start reading this soon. But anyway, I'll be back once it's to the actual uh, install finisher. Pretty cool little installer uh, startup. I've always liked that about the older uh, Mac operating systems. So here you go. Hold on. Let me let me hold the camera in a bit of a better position. All right. Yes. US keyboard. Now it depends. Now the internet I will not set up. Um. So let's see. All right. Um. I computer is not connecting the internet. Well, does it now. Actually, here's a good little tip at the registration information part. Um. Hold on. Actually, let's see that. Still is kind of going. If you get to this part and you don't want to fill it out, if you just press uh, Command Q on the keyboard, you will actually get the option to uh, skip. Or the first time I was pointing, there it is. 
you can skip that, so yeah. Okay, whatever. I'll get it set up the rest of the way and I'll be back. Alright, I am back to the uh, iMac. Unfortunately, the mouse is on the right side, so I'm having to use my left hand, which is not quite as steady. But as you guys can see, whore, see whore, my bad, here, I have, well, okay, I see that 64 megabyte sticks not being detected, but it's just a single 533 megahertz uh, G4 chip. I thought it was going to maybe be dual, but I guess it'll just say dual 533 on the back, which the sticker did say that, so yeah. 384 megabytes of RAM, and I'll open the system profiler, but yeah, here's that. Bus speed is 133 megahertz, power PC G4, power Mac 3, comma 4 if you want to look up a little more about it. Disk burning, uh, it is not supported apparently. Memory, okay, so that means that, okay, so dim slot 0 is actually not being used, which is strange. Okay, PCI cards, nothing found. Serial ATA, nothing found. Now ATA, it should find something. There you go, so there's your IBM uh, desk star hard drive which is appearing to be working just fine, so yeah, but there we go. And then here's your uh, dashboard, which, wow, that's a very old dashboard. Wow, I've never seen a dashboard like that. So there's your app expose, and then here's the, uh, okay, apparently, uh, the inbuilt speaker does work, so... Also, here's the Spotlight Search, which was brand new in 10.4 uh, Tiger. So, yeah. Um, also, the next thing I will do is I'm going to swap out the fan and the power supply. And then I'm going to get... And then... Okay, sorry. And then I'm going to get OS 9 installed. So, yeah. But there we go. It's working. Also, I'm going to get disconnected to the internet and see if I can uh, possibly just... Well, I don't need to open this. I actually do. So, I'm going to get this connected to the internet. And then I'm going to get OS 9 installed. So... That's basically just going to be what's left in the video. So yeah, but I'll be back once I have it connected to the internet. Alright, I got the other 128 megabyte RAM stick installed. So 512 meg there total. Well, I was actually uh, taking off the AGP graphics card. I accidentally snapped the plastic off the back. But, oh well, that's whatever. That didn't matter that much. And here's the original video card. 16 megabyte video card. That RAM stick I actually borrowed out of here. Um, this computer I found at the dump. And it wasn't really worth making a video about, even though I have clips from it. If you guys want me to make a video about it, I can, but I really don't feel like doing it. Computer's not worth doing much with, so yeah, that's kind of that. But yeah, um, that's that. I'm also going to start working on that power supply, getting the fan replaced, and I'll start getting OS 9 on here as well. So yeah, anyway, that's that though. Alright, I am back. I finally got that power supply out. Trust me, getting it on one of those power Macs is not easy. But anyway, it's out. Um, now how to open it, I don't know, because I think the fan is what was having the problem. But, I don't know. I'll check. You know, it's funny, the power slider here. The original problem with the computer is it was set to 230, not 115. This power supply is fine. I don't know. It depends. I'll just see if I can swap fans if it's possible. But, I don't know. I'll see how this disassembles, and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I got all the three screws out, which was one on this side and two on the other. And I could not figure out why it wasn't coming off, and I figured out I actually had to cut the zip tie to get all the cables undone. But, this thing... Um, I don't know like a whole lot about computer power supplies, but just judging all the caps inside of here, I think they all look to be in a pretty decent condition. So yeah, but my big thing though is the fan. I don't know where it's connected to. Um, is that possibly it? I don't know. I'll figure out how the fan is connected, and I'll see if the other one out of the other power supply will work from here. So yeah, but I'll be back. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. I kind of forgot to record a few parts. Um, I did try out the 256 megabyte video card, and the computer wouldn't even turn on with it, so I know the video card is good, so I guess that's kind of unfortunate. That down there is the original video card. Now, this is a 32 megabyte video card. It turns on with this. 512 mega RAM has been added. Now, the power supply is unfortunately you got a problem. It will not detect a fan for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I tried a different fan, which was out of a power supply that I have on my oops, sorry desk over there, which is kind of open. You can kind of see it there. Um, basically, that was uh, a known working fan. It still is not working. But I did throw in a second hard drive. This is a 40 gigabyte, another IBM desk star, desk star, 42 gigabyte. So, yeah, it's kind of that. So everything is back together, and the computer does power on. So at least the power supply is not. At least the power supply is not completely broken. So, yeah, now unfortunately my internet is 
got a passcode WPA and WPA2, which these original airport cards cannot connect to my old router, which is kind of dying, or was dying, they replaced it, uh, did not have a passcode on it, so it worked just fine, so yeah, kind of sucks, um, I really wish my dad just didn't put a passcode on the internet, but yeah, so, anyway, that's that, I'll get this thing reassembled, I'm probably just going to start installing OS 9, so I'll be back once, I guess I boot OS 9. Okay, that was strange. I just plugged in the 256 megabyte video card. It turned on and gave a nice loud beep out of the front speaker. So something tells me it does not like this video card. I mean, it's an ATI uh, card of some sort, so yeah. Oh, anyway, but I guess the only thing that's going to work is just this uh, stock uh, ATI Rage card, so. Ah, well. I guess only 16 megabytes of video RAM is enough to push this monitor. So I guess that's enough, but yeah, give a nice loud beep. Powered on. Didn't even have to press the power button. So if you want to scare the crap out of your friends, just plug that into an old Power Mac. I'm kidding, you'll never do that. That was lame. Okay, whatever, I'll be back once I swap video cards. Alright, I am back, and I got everything hooked up. And actually, that wireless card, apparently, according to the computer, that orange light down there, it works, apparently. So I'm very happy about that. So now I can get this guy on the internet, and if I can get an external hard drive hooked up to this guy, and it works okay-ly, better I can get a SATA to IDE board internally. I can probably just make this maybe a little uh, torrenting thing, possibly. Kind of sit having it sit over here in my room where my monitor is, and putting the monitor up there where my iMac is. I don't know. Well, my iMac works just fine for this. But anyway, everything seems to work just fine. I'm going to run software updates and then I'll start the OS 9 install. Well, there you go. It's booting up Mac OS 9. And I actually decided to hook it up to my uh, TV here, especially for updates on this guy, because the Wi Fi antenna that I did put in, which is now sitting up here on my uh, little table here, or the table, the storage thing, um, it did not want to work properly in my computer. And the airport card won't connect to my internet because it can't get past uh, WPA or WPA2 networks, or WPA2 networks can't get past, so I have to have it hooked up by Ethernet, which did download the updates just fine. So yeah, right now I'm just waiting for Mac OS 9 to start up, and once it starts up, I should be good. All right, there you go. It's right now I'm going to be installing Mac OS 9. And of course it is off the uh, DVD drive here on the front, so it's pretty nice. Also, I don't know why my TV did this. Well, let me back up just a little bit, but as you can see, the uh, image is pretty off center. And I don't know why, but I don't know. As long as it's working, I'm, I'm fine with it. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of strange. But yeah, I'll be back once this is to like an installer of some sort, actually to the home screen. Alright, after taking about 30 minutes to install, it finally installed OS 9 onto the hard drive apparently, and it should be rebooting here pretty soon. So, actually, wait, I gotta restart it myself, so, hold on, let me, I'll let you do that real quick. I think it's special. And shut down, so. We go. Now the next thing. Let's see if it'll boot OS 9 again. Let's see, oh, I gotta stand up to show the entire monitor or TV on the screen. I don't know. I might move it to my smaller external monitor down there. That probably would be a little bit better. Um, we'll see what it boots to. Uh, that's not supposed to be like that. Whatever. I'll correct that in the operating system. But it seems to be rebooting, and I'll be done with this to a desktop. Alright guys, I am back and I got Mac OS 9 fully installed on this computer. So it does now work what seems to be like fine. And as you can see here, let me move. It has all the RAM being detected. All the processor stuff's being detected fine. And sorry, let me go on ahead and move over to uh, uh let's see devices and volumes. Now the slot AGP as you can see here, the video card's detecting properly, and even as the uh hard drive is even detecting properly so everything is uh everything's working just fine so i have to kind of reach down as the computer's on the floor but yeah that's that um i guess i'm trying to think well for now that's really it with this computer i'll see if i can see if the power supply is supposed to be normal like that and i might turn this into a file server once i can get a bigger hard drive and stuff like that from it but yeah that's kind of it with the uh, g4 power mac though i hope you guys enjoyed the video I have more stuff coming, such as a uh, another work kind of dump finds thing, or work uh, kind of recycle bin finds more of. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be back with some more content. See y'all later.